Hi everybody, this is Ernie. I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library. And recently at uh, Paul Sawyer Public Library, we've gotten access to the New York Times for our patrons. And so for this Tech Tuesday, I'm going to show you, demonstrate to you uh, how to go about accessing that with your card number. So from the very front page, you're gonna wanna click on the Research tab there in the main menu. And then down towards the bottom, the next up from the bottom, the section magazine and newspaper articles is where you're going next. So once you tap that, it's gonna expand out and the very top section is the New York Times. Now, depending on where you're accessing this from, how you're accessing it, there's a couple of different links there. So uh, if you're inside the library using a library computer, you're gonna to wanna to click that top link that says click here. Uh, that'll take you straight to the New York Times and it'll validate you through the IP address of the library computer that you're using. But if you're accessing it from outside the library, you're going to have to input your card number, go through a few uh, more steps to gain access. So that's where that second link underneath outside the library comes into play. So if you click there underneath outside the library, it's gonna take you to this box where you're gonna enter your card number. So once you enter a valid card number, the submit button will appear. And when you click that submit button, it's gonna give you this message here. Your card number has been verified, click here to access the New York Times. So it'll give you a code that you can redeem at the New York Times website for 24 hour access. Uh, this allows you to access news articles and content. Uh, it doesn't include the, the crossword, doesn't include Sunday cooking, uh, just the, the articles and news articles uh, and content like that. So once you click the, the link there, it says click here to access the New York Times. It's going to give you this redeem, redeemable code that will give you 24-hour access. Once you tap redeem, it's then going to ask you to either create an account if you don't have a New York Times uh, account, or you can log in to the account that you already have. Uh, again, this is because you need, you, you need an account with the New York Times because that code that putting in your card number gives you is a gift code for a 24-hour subscription. So that's kind of how the process works. So once you log in or create an account here, and another thing is make sure that you uncheck that box there so you're not getting a bunch of emails from the New York Times. Once you create the account or log in, that code will automatically be redeemed and you'll have 24-hour access to the site and to uh, the content. So again, there's a few things that they don't allow access to, like the crossword and things like that, but everything else you see on the main page here, the content, the articles, you will have access to for a period of 24 hours. Once that 24 hours is up, you can then uh, go back to the website, re-enter your card number, get another code. Uh, there's no limit uh, as far as how many times you can can get that get a code and get access for 24 hours. You could do it once a week if you want to catch up on the articles or if there's just a specific article you want to read that day, you can just log in that day, it's up to you. But once you tap on an article, generally after a certain number of times, it's gonna tell you that you need an account uh, to, or a, you, you need a subscription to continue reading. But while you're uh, logged in with this 24 hour access, you're not gonna see that, that notification. So. Again, it's, it's pretty simple once you get the concept as far as a 24-hour uh, access to all of the, the content, and that's just provided to you through your library card. So if you have any questions or if you're running into some problem or something like that, like always, just send us a message and let us know. But otherwise, um, I hope that this is something that you all find enjoyable. Thanks. Thanks.